Hi guys, Jay here, and today we're playing some Star Trek Online again. But this time it is the Age of Discovery expansion. I believe it's an expansion, hopefully. Well, today you've seen a men uh, the menu screen, all my characters. Today we're going to make a new character as well. Okay, you see what happens now. Good soundtrack, I like this. Okay, so you see what class I'm going to choose. Class, science officer. But really, I want to try tactical. It'll be my first Federation tactical character. And I'm going to be choosing a female, which will be my first female character in on this game. And it's going to be Alien. We see what it's like when I get back when I finish customizing. See you then. Okay, so I've got my character here, Kazumi Morrison. Reason Kazumi from Mass Effect 2 and Morrison just from. Overwatch, Morrison, that's a Soldier's M6 name, best name I could think of. USS Farpoint, as in Star Trek TNG, where did everyone, well, most, well, Riker, Farpoint Station. I believe it's Farpoint Station. If not, I'm asking a little bit about Alison, but that's my ship name. So, the character is Alien, Tactical Officer, first female officer, as I said earlier. Um, that's most likely the name of this ship in the background. But I got the bundle, so that ship name probably will change it. Okay, I didn't, didn't even touch my mouse and it did that. Uh, so you see there, and so far I like the music, but the music now sounds like typical Star Trek Online. Yeah, it's typical Star Trek Online. Okay, yes, engage. Hopefully, the music will die down and see what difference is, is this tutorial compared to 24th. Or 25th century? 25th century tutorial, I believe it's 25th. See the differences and all that stuff, and what type of cutscene would it have? We have a typical Star Trek Online cutscene with, like, I think it was Lenny and I speaking, unless they changed that a while ago, I'm not sure. Or is it going to be a new type of thing with, what's his name? I really don't know that much of Discovery, I know a bit of Discovery because of Trek Yards, but I don't really watch it. I haven't watched season one. Might watch season two because it seems a bit more better. Let's see what it is this? Yeah, I can't find it. Let's engage. I still can't believe how much things have changed. We hadn't heard from the Klingons for years, and now we have. Now, the Federation is at war. That was probably the last thing on my mind when I got here. It was the same for you, right? We came to Starfleet Academy to become explorers. Not all of us are fighters. Some of us are engineers, healers, scientists. We've been working hard on the ground and in space. We learned how things worked on a starship. And we learned how to work as a team. We've been getting ready. To boldly go where no one has gone before. And today's your big day. Today you graduate and begin your career as a Starfleet officer. It's gonna be amazing. Okay, so just welcome to Star Trek Online. Today is graduation day. And you soon will be embarking on a training cruise where the bulk of your ship is manned by cadets like yourself. This tutorial will induce you to the basic controls. Okay, I know that. Wow, okay, seems like the same one again. Uh, and I can auto click it and I can also change the options. I'd know this. I'll keep it there for people who don't know. Um, controls. Toggle will never cancel. Yeah, I think that's how it was already. Okay, thank you for knowing that. This looks basically like how it was, but I know they changed it to make it fit. And did I see someone say Cadet Cisco? No, Cadet Cisco. Oh, this is open world. This is another player. Oh, the beeps, the sound effects. Okay. People you can interact with have icons above their heads. You can press the interaction key, default F, to talk with them. Okay, thank you. Talk to Cadet Sylvia Tilly. That's it, Tilly. That's it. 
Hey, there you are. Are you excited? I am very excited. Pretty soon we'll be reporting for duty on the cadet training crews. So this is supposed to be set after, because I watched the first two episodes of Discovery, and bits and bob of after stuff. So this is set short after the Binary Stars incident, but before we see Discovery in the second episode, sometimes second episode. Okay, that will we that we will. Okay, I just can't speak English for today. I'm assuming you know your assignment. What is that? Oh, small hyper. Are you kidding? I set up a triple layer alarm sequence to notify me when the postings went up. I think I knew before some of Captain Schaefer's staff. Two words: Chief Engineer. Oh, okay. The Captain Schaefer. Oh, that's a congr congratulations. That's quite an honor, especially for a junior. Right. I'm still not sure if this isn't one of Finnegan's pranks. He's done stuff like this, you know. Ugh, poor Jim Kirk. Hmm. Oh, uh, before I forget, Lifeson is looking for you. Actually, I think I see him over there. You should probably find out what he wants. Okay, lead the way. Oh, this just feels weird. You're running like that. First thing my character play in this is world. Cadet Lifeson, okay. Here's Lifeson, one of the best tactical cadets in your class. Oh, uh, no, after Evelyn. And yourself, of course. <laughs> I heard you were looking for me, Lifeson. There you are! I wanted to thank you for helping me pass that final, and for all the other times you've helped me. Seriously, I might not have made the cadet cruise if it weren't for you. I hope Schaefer recognizes all you've done to lead our class. Have you got your assignment yet? No, not yet. And this is definitely like the tutorial, just set at different times. Uh, well, Lieutenant Tassilm has all of the assignments now. I'd see what she knows. Before you do that, do me a favor and talk to Ian. He's got good news and he won't settle down until he shares it with everyone, including you. Okay, so fun cadet Ivan Kwan. Sure. Oh, there's Ian. Let's find out what his big news is. Okay. These are most. I like the facial animations now. They sound good now. Nisa quote the same thing. Sounds good. Okay, let's go. Where is it? Over there. Just <laughs> step running. Cadet Ivan Kwan. Cadets Kwan and Peart, with a combined IQ of 231, which I've heard is almost up to Tamav's rating. That's the rumor, anyway. How's it going, Ian? Oh, hey, I've been looking for you. Lofford said you had had good news. Yes, I took the linguistics final again, and I aced it. Glad that worked out for you. <laughs> you and me both. It wouldn't have happened if I didn't follow your advice. You saw that I wasn't at my best that day and told me to give it another shot. So, I did. That perfect score really made a difference. Now I'm qualified to serve as both a science officer and a communications officer. Okay, so this is basically the science officer, the, the Volk, I've forgotten the Volk name now, Tabel? Tabel's character? Unless that's the 23rd century one. A TRS one. Okay, that's impressive. Congratulations. Thanks. Always good to have options, right? Kiro took your advice too. I think it worked out for him since he's slightly less scowly than usual. Well, let me know if I'm right, okay? Okay. I think I see Kiro over there. Come on. Oh, there he is. Okay. See, that tired already. <laughs> okay, so an alien. And here we have the smartest person in your class, or so I've heard. It's not entirely fair. Kiro is a super genius and he's built like a brick shit. Uh, uh, yep, yes. Oh, okay, you was gonna say something. I think she was gonna swear, I'm not sure. Hello, Kiro. Cadet, it is agreeable to be in your presence. Your advice regarding Federation history was advantageous. It allowed me to pass the final test with satisfactory marks. I am pleased. That's good to hear. In the interest of camaraderie, I now inform you that Captain Schaefer is still selecting the senior staff for the upcoming training crews. There is a 78.4% chance that you will be selected for a position, based on my current statistical models. Lieutenant Tassil may have more conclusive data on the matter. Okay. Your minimap shows you where your objectives are. An arrow will appear on the minimap if you are far away from your objective. Okay, so we can go in this normal building. I'll wait out here. The cylinder should be inside. Okay, she's jumped out nowhere. Okay, talk to the lieutenant's to sell. 
Good afternoon, cadet. How may I be of assistance? Is this where I get my train cruise assignment? It is. I will access your assignment data now. One moment. Hmm. Fascinating. Lieutenant? Your assignment is not listed. Inquiries on the matter have been directed to Captain Schaefer himself. Is there a problem? That remains to be seen. I suggest you report to Captain Schaefer and ask him personally. He is in the office behind me. Okay. Let's look at tablets. This is a bit of a weird stamp time uh, timestamp because I kinda know. See that, I can see that. It's because they got this smart attack and then in TOS supposedly need to go back. Which is a bit odd. So this office. Nope. Not the office, this office. Okay, I know. Bing bell. Enter. Captain Anton Schaeffer. Good to see you, Cadet. Today's the big day. Congratulations. Judging by that look on your face, I trust this visit concerns your assignment on the training cruise. Yes, sir. Uh, well, you can relax. I'm happy to report that you won't be my new bilge officer. <laughs> Far from it. Thank you, Captain. There is a matter I'd like to address, however. Your academic record is impressive. But I don't see your results for the advanced phase of training program. Can to shed some light on that for me? Because I'm a tactical officer, I'm not going to say this or anyone. So I know that the program is advised for tactical officers, sir. Uh, but I thought I had more time to take it. The Federation is at war with the Klingon Empire, Cadet. I shouldn't need to remind you that Klingons enjoy close combat with their enemies. And in mind, I want everyone on my senior staff to complete that program. No exceptions. Did you say senior staff, sir? I did indeed. There's a place for a cadet like you at my bridge, once you finish that phase of course. My chief engineer and tactical officer have programmed a training simulator for you. I look forward to seeing the results. Okay, may I ask who those cadets are, sir? Cadets Tilly and Surveyor, respectively. They've been working on the simulation for me for some time now. Interesting pair, those two. Some of the staff question bringing Tilly along on the cruise as a junior. But her professors assure me that she's up to the task. It'd be a good experience for us, sir. So... With this expansion, is it going to be like the Agents of Yesterday one that we can do certain missions doing in the future, or is it we'll be stuck in this time for a long time? I don't know. Most likely, it's going to be like how the Agents of Yesterday was. With yeah, yesterday, yeah, we'll be sent back to the future, but I don't know when. It'd be a good experience for her, sir. Indeed, she'll meet you out in the quad. Talk to her to start the training, and I'll see you when you're finished. That's all for now, Cadet. Dismissed. Yes, sir. Oh crap! I didn't just loot. Ooh. Oop, no, okay, I was wondering what's wrong with me. I forgot got stuck. Okay, just gonna sort this out. Seems so far a bit funny. Should I wait to after? Oh, okay. Three. Okay. We've already added to the fleet for some reason. It says. Even though I haven't asked for it yet. Hmm. Dr. Cadet Sylvia Tilly. I still can't believe I got the chief engineer spot. Yes, it's just for the cadet training cruise, but still, how many juniors get to go on the cruise, let alone as a department head? This is exciting. <laughs> okay. Whew, deep breath. I'm good. Woo! <laughs> Enough about me. Uh, where did you end up? Captain Schaeffer wants me on the senior staff, but to pass advanced phase of training first. Yeah? I was wondering why he wanted us to set up the program for you. Now I know. Hey, I should warn you, it can get pretty lively. With the Klingons and aggression, and... I should probably stop telling you about the program now. No, tell me more. I need to know what's going to happen. Anyway. No, I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous. Oh, no, don't worry. You'll do fine. There's no doubt in my mind. Come on, I'll take you there. Sevea's waiting over at the simulator. You know how cranky she gets when people are late. Lead away. Finnegan actually graduated. I guess the Irish are lucky after all. Okay. Irish, okay. Hopefully I like this expansion. I know that people are saying so many good sound effects, which I heard from another player when I was in ESO. No one was assigned to a constitution class. Not even you. That's crazy. Yeah, but which constitution class is it going to be? How many times did you run the Kobayashi Maru? Kirk's up to two now. Cool. It's good to see that they're doing some good references to Kirk, but to I know. Key while moving. 
We better hurry or we'll lose our spot. Oh, I hate running. <laughs> Might need to catch up uh -oh. and discover to know about this. There's Ev, and she's looking impatient. <laughs> Talk to Cadet Ilvia Savia. There you are. About time. Programs loaded and ready to go. I hope this is your lucky simulator. It's been nothing but bad luck for Kirk. <laughs> <laughs> Have any advice for me? I want to pass this. Point the business end of the phaser at the enemy, not yourself. Sorry, Captain Schaefer told us both not to give you any help, no matter how nicely you ask. You got through quantum mechanics, you can get through this. Okay, I need a phaser. Yeah, those are pretty useful in phaser training, huh? Too bad tricorders don't have a stun setting. You'd get top marks. Kidding? I'm kidding. The phasers are in the armory by the holodecks. Grab one there. Okay, let's go. Uh, running. It's the worst. Yeah. Because we just ran the area. Oh, okay. That's kind of cool. So I'm also being tempted to redo my character into. Oh, okay. Into Stowe. My, my main captain that was main, based on me. To a Discovery cartoon. But it's like. I like my own still. Same time I start. I just want the effects of Discovery. Get a pistol. Okay. And it's flown. I might have to add a belt to this character, make it look a bit realistic, a bit more. Use this. Oh, I doesn't say I thought I was going to talk to him. Okay, enter it. Just go to the center of the room. Oh, yeah, it's holodeck as well, so it's a bit odd, isn't it? It's holodecks in this time as well. Okay, begin the program. Oh crap. Okay. Not gonna get me. Once you drop out of combat, more detail about ground combat will become available. Okay. Thank you. Exit simulation. Is it gonna be like there are a recruit, someone's going to talk to me from the future. Probably not. You can holster and draw your weapon with the H key. Okay, thank you. Captain? Nice work, Cadet. A few points below Severe's personal best, but it was your first try. You'll have plenty of opportunities to knock her from her perch at the top of the list once we're underway. <laughs> I'm just going to smile a bit there. Thank you, Captain. Do you have any assignments for me now? That I do, Cadet. First officer station is yours. That's if you want it, of course. The bilge officer spot is still open. <laughs> yes, first officer. Yeah, first officer is fine with me, sir. Thought you might say that. You've done well here, Cadet. I expect that trend to continue. Onward and upward throughout your career. Thank you, sir. It will be an honor serving with you. Likewise. I'll see you on the bridge then. And congratulations. Continue. Talk wow, oh. look at you, first officer. You're gonna do a great job. Congratulations. That thing the captain said about the bilge officer's spot was pretty funny, though. I mean, we don't even have those anymore. Wait, do we? Anyway, <laughs> first officer. How does it feel? What do I say? What can I say? I'm surprised. A lot of pressure. A little bit, a bit. Uh, this. Whoa, dial it down a little there, Admiral Awesome. <laughs> if your head gets bigger than two meters, you won't fit through any doors. Good to know. Seriously? Captain Schaefer didn't make that decision lightly. He believes in you, just like me. Even though you got me blown up in the Kobayashi Maru. Awkward. <laughs> <laughs> well, we should get going to the shuttle bay. Everybody's waiting for the ceremonial send-off toast. Guess who gets to give that? Oh, great. I'm surprised that the Kobayashi Maru is this old. Actually, it's true. Kirk could, could be a cadet during this time, so he would do it. Meet you. Okay. Come on, Sylvia. Okay. So turbo. Oh, this is a bit small, isn't it? The claustrophobic. Come on. Turbo. This is the shuttle bay. Oh, okay. Okay. The rest of the senior staff is waiting just ahead. Time for your big speech. How are you gonna play it? Inspirational, heartwarming. That could be 
good. Hey, make Savea cry, like just a single tear, warrior style. <laughs> Continue. Anyway, I'll meet you at the bar. No pressure, you're gonna be great. Yeah, the facial machines all good. Yeah, what is this meant to be? Was this another pair of lights? Well, that's a bit odd. Wow, they haven't changed this place in years, haven't they? Where, where is it? Saw it come up. Lead a toast. Cadet Kiro Para Tumbeo Tabab. Tilly Silver. I can't pronounce her name. Who is Lifeson and Kawan. Lead the toast. Inspire, inspire the cadets. We are senior staff of the USS Farpoint. Each and every one of us has trained for the tasks at hand, and we are ready. Continuing hot to cadets. I have utmost faith in each of you. You are the best the academy has, and together we can do everything well this year. Gather minds to the cadets. But we will go forth boldly. We will work together using everything we learned here. The Starfleet Academy to the USS Farpoint to her crew. Raise a glass of, raise a glass of 2258. Was two two five six actually? What I mean is a show. Can I talk to these people? Like, oh yeah, I can talk. This is our time. Let's make it happen. Are you sure she's not the one who gets killed in Discovery? I'm not sure. I have been crying. I might comes for this cruise. Think we'll actually run into anyone to hail? Maybe Tamvir or Tamvir. I am a Vulcan. I have no ego to bruise over not making chief of engineering. Oh yes, you do, Lifeson. I'll be chief of security. Not that anything ever happens on these cruises besides drills and simulations. Perhaps. So you're the XO? Honestly, I'm kind of relieved. A lot of responsibility in that job. <laughs> I will serve as medical officer. Refrain from injuring yourself or others during this assignment. Cadet Ares. I'll be at the helm this time. I wonder if Schaefer will let me try a barrel roll. <laughs> so Desmond, Ensign, Ensign, Second, Lee, Ensign. Okay. I'm just wondering if we see anyone familiar. Like a Easter egg to do. Yeah. This shuttle is massive though. Yeah, I'm going to cut in front of you guys. Talk to deck officer. Are you ready to head to the ship? Let's go. I can't believe we're finally doing this. Ooh, 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 look over there! That's the Glen. One of the new Crossfield class ships. No one really knows much about her or her capabilities. Well, Starfleet Academy anyway. Maybe we'll work on a ship like that someday. For now, our ship's here. She's a Malakowski class, Captain Schaefer's pride and joy. Good speed for her class, definitely maneuverable. A stout, solid, battle-proven design for sure. I can't wait to see what she can do. Let's land and find out. Okay, I do like the effects, and I do like the shot. I wish I could get this from the main character as well. Or the interior. I could get it. But I have an Odyssey Gloss and they won't transfer a bridge. Okay. So to Sylvia Tilly. Okay, we need to check in with the deck officer first, then head to our stations. Oh man, I cannot wait to see the engine room. My engine room. Yeah! Just continue. Okay. Crew. Do I talk to this guy? Nope. Where is oh, over here. Sylvia Tilly, acting chief engineer, reporting for duty. Lieutenant, Lieutenant Stalin. Stalin. Welcome aboard. What's your name, cadet? Kasumi Morrison. Ah, uh, yes, here we are. Acting first officer. You're all set. Where's the captain? See, they got Morrison there. That's quite good. Captain Morrison in the future. That'd be quite cool. Where's the captain? Report to Captain Schaefer on the bridge. He's been expecting you. Use the turbo lift behind me, it'll take you directly there. 
continue, okay. One year reading in my catch would have the surname working it all rule off my middle name. Into terror lift. Okay, it's quite big. So Tilly, yep. Go to bridge. Oh, this looks cool. You know, I like the look of discovery, the looks of it, but it just doesn't fit the, uh, the time period, really. But it looks cool. Captain Schiffer. Ah, there you are. Computer, note the executive officer has reported for duty in the ship's log. Welcome aboard, XR. Thank you, Captain. You're right on time. All decks have reported in. We're ready to get underway. Okay, Tempe. Start things simple by getting the old girl out of dry dock, huh? Contact dock control and get clearance to depart. After we're cleared, close the shuttle bay doors and disable the tractor moorings. Okay. Yeah, and get clearance from control f for the far point to leave the gantry. Dock control has cleared us to depart. Okay. Acknowledged. Carry on. Tempe. 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 <laughs> Send the signal closed to shuttle bay doors. Shuttle bay doors are closed. Okay. Acknowledged. Carry on. Arez, wait for me to disable the tractor moorings. Oh, okay, this one. Oh, wow. I have to go to someone's actual desk. Cadet Lee's desk. Oh. The recent tractor moorings. Captain Sheffield. Arez, take us out. One quarter impulse. Captain, may I remind you that Starfleet regulations specify thrusters only while you're visiting your space dock. Duly noted, XO. Erez, take us out. Maximum thrusters. Oh. Cleared from dry dock, Captain. Acknowledged, Helm. Set a course for Vulcan. Warp 4. Course laid in, sir. Engage. Incoming transmission. Captain, I'm picking up a distress call from the SS Fortuna. Audio only. Put them through, comms. Let them know we're on our way. Helm, lay in a rendezvous course. Altering course, sir. ETA, three minutes. Transporter room, prepare to beam over survivors. Sir, sensors can't read anything in the vicinity of the Fortuna. Communications are out as well. Mm. Keep trying to hail them, comms. XO, let's discuss the situation. Uh, oh, this is chat. Well, XO, you heard the distress call. What are your recommendations? This is a test, sir. Part of the training crews. Afraid not. This is the real deal. First Starfleet regs, we're the closest ship to the Fortuna, so it's our duty to assist. It's strange that a transmission was audio only. A warp core emergency shouldn't affect communications. Not usually, no. Good instincts. How would you proceed here? I recommend. I would recommend this, but a uh, shield's a better safe than sorry. Good call. There's something about this that's not sitting right with me. Could be a trap, sir. Agreed. Yellow alert. Surveyor, bring the shields up. Get down to the transporter room, XO. I want you to oversee the rescue efforts from there. Okay. I like the music to sound back of it. It sounds quite good. Okay, go to transport deck. Desmond, the Fortuna should be in range. Give me an update. I'm getting some weird readings. I can't get a solid lock. There may be interference. Trying to compensate. I think I have it. This is a lot different than the training scenarios. Beaming them over now. Klingons! Don't let me join! A joke! Desmond? Come in! What happened? Desmond? Hold on, we're ready.
reading disruptor fire in the transporter room. And Klingons are beaming in on multiple decks. All hands, this is the captain. Repel borders. I repeat, repel borders. You orders, Captain. You have the command codes to unlock an armory near your position. Arm yourself and any security team members you find, and then repel any borders you come across. Okay. Get a phaser rifle from the armory. What about the enemy ship, sir? You let us worry about that. Right now, I need you doing what you can to get those Klingons off my ship. Bet you're glad you took that phaser course now, huh? Shoot straight and stay safe down there. Okay, yes, sir. Over here, Exo. We need you to unlock the armory. They might be die. That's the thing. You have to enter the command codes. Okay, enter command codes. Grab a rifle. We need to deal with the Klingons. Come on. You need to equip your phaser rifle. To do so, press the menu button. Okay, I know. Let's go. Oop. Oh, I was dead. An item has dropped for you. Move towards the item and press F to loot it. I got auto loot, which is good. Okay, took the health back. You have recovered a hydro spray. You can use this to quickly heal any damage you may have suffered. Yes, I know. Oh, good. You're on the right side of the safety field. Whew. Okay, it's good. You can do extra damage to enemies by flanking them. Try attacking your enemies on their sides or behind them. The Desmond Live Nurse Committee. It's a bit of stupid design here. Shuttle bait on both sides. It's gonna be a bit of a risk. I do like the look of it though. Desmond. Thanks. I think they were going to engineering. Better hurry. There's a lot of them. Okay. I'm seriously considering changing my character over now. I'm bringing him over to this. Security to engineering. We are under attack. Stop this guy. Oh, crouch. Oh, no, it's typical Star Trek Online music. Out of nowhere. To capture talk. We're reading Klingon boarding parties on multiple decks, XO. Our security teams are spread thin. I need you to get to engineering and keep it secure. It's bound to be a priority target for the enemy. I'm on my way. Now I'll probably keep my own character. Different times works, and I think. I need the option. Stow, please let it have an option. Put sound effects in for our own characters, like depending on time period. Turn off to engineering. Come on. Lead the way, XO. We've got your back. Press C to crouch. Crouching is a defensive. I know. Weapon gives a bonus to damage. You know, I don't like that. Are you guys okay? Maybe. Breach your door. Okay, no one's there. Of course, a lot of people dead. Breach your door. Oh, okay. A trill. Move, move, move! Come on. Who oh, am I glad to see you? You have no idea how happy I am to see you. <laughs> they were looking for something in here. Can't imagine what, though. I mean, they have warp and impulse tech. What else would be in engineering? 
Especially since the ship's a complete mess thanks to them. Is there a part they didn't shoot? Sorry, I, I could really use your help, since you're here. I do like the engineering though. That is cool, this is a nice, I don't know if it's in the show but it feels a bit different. Nice blend of TOS and this. Yes, updated, okay, let's talk to you. As I was saying, the ship's taken a lot of damage. I'll do what I can to get the essentials online, but I could use some help. See anything you could do in here? Tactical, I know how to improve the ship's weapons. Okay, the power relays for our weapons were overloaded. I need you to bring them back online. The power relays for the forward weapons are accessed through two consoles behind me on the upper floor. The relays for the aft weapons can be accessed here at the center console. You good to go? Consider it done. Get up here. Boost powers to I don't know what I just said. It was just clicked on. Okay, warp core stable. Life support Boost power to speed up all herbs. Okay. Yes. Jump over. Ship wide comms online. I like our stance, that's quite cool and aggressive. He looks a bit confused, honestly. <laughs> Glad you're still with us. We could use a hand up here. We've taken casualties, and the Klingons could send more boarding parties at any time. Do what you need to do down there, and report to the bridge. Aye, sir. Head back to the bridge. We'll cover this deck. Nope. Actually, no, I don't think nothing's up here so far. Oh, come on. Why am I running slow? Don't tell me it's lag. Tell the bridge. Sir! Shields! Prepare for Who is in command here? Speak now! I'm Captain Schaefer, and you are? I am Jaula of House Wokai. Surrender now, Captain, while you're still able. Request denied. Get off my ship. Get off my ship. If you insist, Captain. John Truth. Yeah, that was cool. No shit. <laughs> Where to repel them? The Klingons are gone. So is the captain. Okay, here are the cadets. I'll try to find the Klingon ship. Your medical assistance was adequate and necessary. Okay, so I think the bridge is at the bottom. Okay. That was intense. Klingons. We just fought Klingons. Yeah. Uh, oh, thought I was done for. Thanks. Ian's come back as well. Hopefully. I'll be okay. Thanks to you. I owe you one. Okay. What, what happened here? Incoming transmission from the Klingons. Do I have your attention, Starfleet? Captain, are you all right? Silence! Surrender your ship and all classified data within it to me immediately. Shaper. Order your crew to do as I say. XO, follow my orders to the letter. Fire on my position. <sighs> Spoken like a Klingon, Captain. Now die like one. What do we do now? Whoop! 
Look, John, you do. It's your head. What the luck? Look. Ah, but no. What the hell? Mech, so we do two. It's a ditcho. Mech la big chak. Okay, so that tutorial has been done. Let's talk to Evelyn. This might be split up in multiple parts, we don't know yet. We're still here. Most of us, anyway. The captain. Look, the captain knew what was at stake. He gave the order, and you followed it. If you hadn't, we'd probably all be dead now. Okay, the long way. So you're captain now. We're with you. Let's make the sacrifice account. Okay, let's continue. Yes, I know. Where I click and control the bridge. Okay, so Evelyn Savine as their yeah, tactical. Okay. Okay, so talk to the first officer. All decks have reported in. We took some casualties, and sick bay is full. All systems have taken damage, but some were hit worse than others. Life support is stable. Past that, it's not exactly optimal. Okay, so move to tactical. Okay, Ian, send that distress call. Working on it, but something's jamming our long-range comms on all frequencies. Keep trying. What's the status of the killing on ship, Evelyn? Still running under cloak. We knocked him around pretty good before they slinked off with their tail between their legs. That said, we're in rough shape ourselves. Chili damage report. Damage control teams are assigned. We put out all the fires and started patching the hull breaches, but it's gonna take a while. We um, we'll get the critical systems back online as soon as we're able, Captain. Stick with it, Ian. Can we contact the Fortuna? Still reading their distress signal. I can break through the jamming at short range. Shall I hail them? Yes, let's see how they're doing. Opening hailing frequencies now, Captain. Fortuna, this is the USS Farpoint. What is your status? Greetings, uh, Captain. Uh, thank you for coming to my aid. Horace Jones, looks like. Ah, oh, okay, nice to see signal under Teresa. I'm sure you'll do the same with a Klingon disruptor pointed at your head. So you were bait. Where the bait? Quite so, Captain. Our Klingon friends took pains to make my plight look convincing to the point of damaging my warp drive beyond function at the risk of wearing out my welcome. Would you be so kind and assist me? I'd uh, rather not be around if the Klingons come back. I see what we can do. Increase your speed. I know. See what stats. Use w and S okay. I know. I can't go full impulse. No, I can't. It's down. Coming to a full stop, Captain. Uh, apologies. I'll wait for your command from now on. Scan the freighter. They need three or four warp induction coils, tops. We can spare a few. Okay. Spin me over. Thanks. Oh, and uh, good luck with the Klingons, my young friend. You'll need it. Why does it sound like Mark Hamill doing the Joker impression? Talk to your first officer. Can't say I blame him. I wouldn't want to fight Klingons in a tub like that either. Speaking of Klingons... Engineering. Status report. We have a problem. Most of our plasma injectors are a wreck. See, plasma injectors are made to take a beating. But this damage goes way beyond what would happen in a fight. Pretty sure the Klingons sabotaged them when they boarded us. They wanted to strand us here. Tamav is installing our spare injectors, but we're three short. Without those, we can't go to warp. Recommendations? We're not the first ship the Klingons have hit here, Captain. There's wreckage throughout the system. I recommend scanning the derelicts nearby. We may be able to find and recover intact plasma injectors from the wreckage. Okay, let's make it happen. Come on. I'm picking up a few compatible parts in the wreckage. Blast off the outer casings on those units and we can get what we need. Okay, can we go? Press the space bar to fire energy weapons. Ship is under attack. Little star fleet. Call weep. Ugh, she is getting on my last nerve. Take 
Take items, take items, take I, I know. Okay, these injectors are a little beat up, but I can work with them. Some of these are real top shelf tech. Type J's with a two liter flow, modulating reserves, and those sweet new pumps. Lovely. Remember the killing ones? Work faster, please. Gonna need a little time to get these installed. I'd rather not breach the core after we go to warp because of a full system meltdown. And that can happen with dicey injectors. Tilly. Right. I'm on it, Captain. Good. Evelyn, what's our status? While engineering deals with the warp core, we're stuck here. We need critical systems back online ASAP. It's a sure bet the Klingons are making repairs. And they aren't as safety concerned as we are. We might be back and shooting faster than we'd like. We need to find what's charming our comms. We're on it, Captain. I located several Klingon military satellites nearby. Ian thinks we'll be able to reach Starfleet if we destroy the satellites, and I agree. Besides, we could use a little more target practice. Okay, right. Let's take them out. You must be within 10 kilometers of an enemy to attack it. Use your phaser banks to weaken shield and target. I know. Do I not have evasive maneuvers? No. I can't go full impulse. Use your torpedoes on it. I know. Oh, need we can't get there. But Target quicker. destroyed. Two more to go. Come on, get there closer. Come on, this is gonna get there first. This one. Ten minutes, kilometers. Starfleet, you are persistent, little Kopu. Die well. Right, how big is that? Okay, the whole ship's not too bad. Long range comms are back, Captain. Shall I send the distress signal? Yes, yeah, send the distress signal. That Klingon ship took some real damage during the fight. I bet she's leaking plasma all over the place. We might be able to use that to find them. Do it. We need to deal with them and fast. No argument here. I'd rather not get blown up by Klingons on a cadet cruise. Or, you know, ever, really. <laughs> Scanning now. Oh, yes! I found it! Well done. Sending you the data now. We can trace their plasma signature right back to the source. It'll show up on the map. Okay, you for most. Okay. Here's our part in step course. It's pretty far from us. We should travel at full impulse to reach it. This will temporarily take power from the other systems, but vastly improve our speed. Once we drop out of full impulse, the power will return to other systems. Okay. Baka! Your death will be swift! Activate full... Okay. Let's follow them. Activate high yield... I know. Decloaking, Captain! Let's go, come on. They're even doing the effects of having blown up an impact when there's no actual Captain, damage. While we have the opportunity, it might not be a bad idea to review some of the basic Starship combat files. Wouldn't hurt to be ready when the next group of enemies attack okay, us Okay, bring it up then. Oh, okay, now no, okay, continue. Continue, continue. People can pause and read it. It would be wise not to follow me. Cowardly, but wise. Click on a shield that is low on power. Get okay, ready. Hopefully, we can get into battle straight away. Come on. Tomorrow and I need time to plasma injectors installed. Please don't break anything else. Come on. Target shield has failed. How are my shields? That's good so far. Come on. I 
and I take close damage and I Incoming transmission, Captain. Oh, it's a great. Starfleet vessel, the Sabrova. Uh, wrong UI. <laughs> Come on, put them on screen, Ian. This is Captain Thykir Shran. We've received your signal. What happened here? We were ambushed by Klingons, Captain. I see. Ever since they acquired their cloaking device, they've been getting bold, even for Klingons. You're lucky to be alive, Cadet. Which reminds me, you're on Captain Schaefer's ship. Where is he? He was captured and taken to the Klingon ship. They killed him after he ordered us to fire on his position. And did you follow his order? Yes, sir. I see. Unfortunate. I served with Anton on the Endeavor. He was a fine officer. We could use more like him. I take it you're the acting captain then? I am. Very well. Schaefer didn't place trust in his officers lightly. If he chose you to be his XO, he knew you could get the job done. I'll expect the same. Our first order of business is getting your ship and crew to safety. We'll escort you to make sure you get back in one piece. What are the Klingons, sir? They're still out there. I'm sure they are. And if they're foolish enough to come back looking for a fight, they'll get one. In the meantime, set a course for our position. Sobrova, out. Yes, sir. Okay, let's go. I know. Come on, let's get there. What ship is that? Is it the same class? 95700, is it the same? No, it's different. It's a different one. Oh, it's here. Soldier, the wolf now fights with his cousin. Hmm. No matter. Come on. Range for best back. Stay focused. Hit them where they're weak and hit them hard. This sounds so cool. Different. Today is a good day to die. King on back. Duck, duck. We were on our way to check in on another Starfleet vessel when we received your distress signal. That vessel is still not responding to hails. Considering what happened to you, I'm beginning to fear the worst. I'm going to investigate, and I want you to join me. The Klingons are up to no good in that system. I'll need backup. I know it's asking a lot, but we're at war. Consider this a field promotion. Can I have your orders. Okay, so expertise, hyper impulse, engine, phaser, phaser, and again. Okay, continue. This, this feels wrong, doesn't it? I mean, the captain just got killed by a House Mokai matriarch over something she thought we had on board. Shouldn't we be chasing her instead? Shran's the senior officer here, Tilly. We have our oldest. <sighs> You're right. You're right. For all we know, this Ja'ula could be behind what happened to that other ship. We should help them. I'll get back down to engineering, Captain. We are ready to go to warp when you are. Engage. Classical effect. We've arrived, Captain. I'm reading the Ticonderoga dead ahead. Our orders are to make contact with them and find out why they haven't responded to our hails. Okay. Very we go. Set a course for the Tricorder. Okay, hail the use Tricorder. Ian, can you boost the signal? On it. Compensating for local interference now. Hailing frequencies open, Captain. Try calling that this is far point. Please respond. Probably got the wrong UI as well. The view screen. That's annoying. Can't say I was expecting either of you out here. Care to fill me in? I am the commander of the far point. Captain Shran ordered me to join him here. Hmm. That's the start of an answer. Captain Shran, perhaps you'd care to fill in the details? But the cadets were ambushed by Klingons. Captain Schaefer was killed in the attack, and the ship is under the command of this cadet. The Sombrova was escorting them back to Seoul. When we couldn't contact you, I decided to alter course and investigate. Now then, what's the situation here, Captain Durant? Listen to Captain Durant. Starfleet has received reports of Klingon activity in the region. We've been ordered to check things out here. They might be hiding in the cluster and using this as a staging ground. As you can see, the area plays havoc with our systems. 
I see. We've already launched nine probes. Now that they're active, we can do an in-depth scan of the area. Is there anything we can do? We could use your help. If all three ships collect data, we should be able to complete this quickly and deal with any Klingons we might come across. Any questions? None. My crew is up to up to the task. Hmm. I can see why Schaefer picked you to be his XO. Don't let that confidence get the better of you. If you need help, ask for it. Starfleet needs each and every one of you. Understood. This may be the worst simple trip to Vulcan ever. Yeah. Bet you wish you were back at the academy, huh, Tilly? Picking up large pockets of radiation. If there's something off of the radiation. Okay, it's kind of point B. Durant here. Are you seeing the same ETA radiation levels that we are? I'm not sure that a normal scan will be enough. We might need to do a full multiphasic reading. We saw the same issue. How can we improve our findings? My science officer believes that performing a tachyon pulse wave scan will solve our sensor issue. Perform your final scans and then report back. Understood. The deflector is realigned to emit a reverse tachyon pulse wave, Captain. Gamma. Scanning, ga scanning gamma. Okay, see so what happens. Reading an impulse spike. Captain, it's the Klingon! Let's get out of here. Hey, did did we just fight the Klingons again? Yes, oh, yes, and we survived. Ooh, that was lucky. Half the systems down here are bypassed like a Christmas tree, Captain. We can't take much more combat. I mean, I'm good, but I'm not a miracle worker. You're doing fine. Remember, you're training. We can do this. Ticonderoga is under attack. Use full impulse to reach her quickly. Okay, I'm going. Okay, I'm quite far actually, but should be reaching this one first. Can I get close enough? Before impulse to get closer is. Okay. Multiple Klingon warp signatures inbound. Oop. Taking heavy fire here. Request immediate assistance. Okay, let's go. Oh, that's gonna hit you out of here. Come on. More Klingons? I don't know if we can handle more Klingons. Well, at least it's not the ball. That was weird that we've seen them here. Come on. I didn't mind the Enterprise because they had a good explanation, but it would be a really weird explanation here. That is why the Klingons are here. Oh, is that the Europa class as well? They got? I think it is, yeah. Nice looking ship. But I like this one as well. Like a Miranda, it is. Come on, reverse back. Mind, get to feel that. Remember your training. You are Starfleet officers. Okay. You're prepared for this. Why does it sound familiar from another character? Or I know it's going to be Strand's son or something. I know that. Multiple Klingon ships decloaking. Too many of them. 
Okay, I must go. Oop. That's a bit odd. Shouldn't have had that come up. Come on. It's all of them. But where? I think I know what the Klingons are up to here. They're using this system as a staging area. Something big is about to go down. We're picking up a large number of inbound warp signatures. Their most likely target is the Corvan system. There's a Dilithium mine there, one we can't afford to lose to the Klingons. Okay, tactical. Farpoint should go to Corvan to warn them. Agreed. The Sabrova is better equipped to hold off the Klingons and assist the Ticonderoga here. Once you've warned Corvan, return to the Soul System. Can you stop the Klingons? It's not a matter of can, it's a matter of must. We'll buy you as much time as we can. You should have enough time to warn Corvan. I've hailed Starfleet Command and requested backup. But you and I know that we can't wait for them to arrive. Corvan can't wait. Understood, we set a course for Corvan. We have to make our way to Corvan as soon as we can, Captain. I just hope we're not too late to warn them. Are you ready to go? The bot system. Love the warp. Red alert! All hands, battle stations! Okay, that was quite cool. You need to warn the Corvan colony about the Klingons. We'll do what we can to hold off the Klingons here and repair the Ticonderoga. Good luck. Okay, so all the basic maneuvers and I've got more stuff. Okay then. Congratulations. Center space. Here ships travel at warp speed between systems. Combat does not take place in sector space. Okay. System to plot a course and set your ship to automatically fly to it. We're giving her all she's got, Captain. I hope we get there in time. Can you see what missions we got still? I haven't done that yet. This is gonna take a while. Let's upgrade the ship in a way. Come on. Better luck. Science on top. Impulse. Yeah, we're gonna have to do it up. Yeah, miss. Sort it out. So now I'm at Corvin, Children of War mission, in the tutorial still, it's late. Begin Children of War. Looks like we got here before the Klingons, Captain. We should make the most of this advantage. What are your orders? We need to warn the colonists. I've managed to establish comms with the colony. It's not a great signal, but it's the best we're gonna get. Putting him through now. On screen. Hello, Captain. What can I do for you? A Klingon attack force is coming, you'd need to evacuate. Run there, Bobby, you get your signal's breaking up. Did you say Klingons? What about them? The Klingons are coming. Chief, you have to evacuate. Ian, what just happened? We just lost contact with Corvan 2, Captain. Something's blocking all subspace signals in this area. There's a comm satellite nearby. It should boost our signal so we can warn the ships and the colony. Okay, so to use the comm satellite to boost your transmission. Okay, very well. Oh, there's set a course. The sat uses our security protocols. We should be able to access it. Boost signal satellite. Our hails are still blocked. The Klingons may be attempting to isolate the planet before they land. Orders, Captain? There's one. Can we have a look onto the colonist? Not from orbit, Captain. Oh, she's live. The Klingons are disrupting transporter operations at the local level. Colonial evacuation on a mass scale could be problematic. We may have to try to hold the Klingons here until Starfleet reinforcements arrive. Yes, up how well we can. Klingon forces inbound on an attack vector, Captain. Those civilians won't last long against Klingons. Wow. We need to help them. This guy, come on. This is definitely part of how the old one was like. Just for killing on to say Borg.
come on. Come on, come on. Can't get there before. short range comms again. Long range signals are still blocked. I've updated the colony. However, the Klingons have started to send down attack squads. What are your orders? We do what we can to protect the colony. Oh, so many more people. Great. Captain, the civilians are trying to fight the Klingon landing craft. I think okay, I can break ready. through the Klingon jamming and hail the civilians. Might be able to get a bit faster. I repeat, disengage! Target shield has failed. Roger that, Starfleet. All ships, fall back! Come on, come on, get them. Okay, now next guy. As far as your ships, the shields have been All taking it well. Safely warped out of the system, Captain. We just give a bit of a test. Come on, let's get them. Just king on the bird, word by the bird pride next. Oh, let's go. They got going away. Come on, let's get closer. Miners won't be able to hold off the Klingons for long. I'm reading more enemy ships on long-range sensors as well. It won't be long before the colony is overrun. I recommend we beam down to help the miners while we can. Okay, let's beam down. Oh, I can't choose, so okay, it's you. You and me, two tactical officers, okay. Well, this isn't good. According to our readings, over half the colony has been overrun by the Klingons. At the rate they're moving, this area will fall in less than an hour. Understood. Let's do what we can to help the colonists. Right. Lead the way, Captain. I've got your back. Move out. That's mine. That's good. The gate closed. We have to get out of here. And leave the others to die. Starfleet's here. We have to help oh, them. Thank goodness. Okay. You talk to Nora. Okay. Thanks. We didn't think anyone got our distress signal. Glad that's not true. We were about to surrender. We didn't have any weapons. We do have some spare armor suits for you and your officers, though. They're in the crates next to the gate. Continue. Okay. This code will open the gate. Chief Smythe and some of the others are still in there. I know it's asking a lot, but if you can, please, save them. Here are the codes to the gate. You have to save the Chief and the others. Okay. Press the U key to view your status or the status of your ship and bridge officers. Okay, let's go. I know this. Over to Colony Escape. Come on, come on. Hey, be careful. There's a lot of Klingons down there. Oh, like this one much better. Okay, you got out. Come on, let's go. The full auto is much better. Come on. There you guys can go. Ah, oh, killed one. Your Starfleet can't help you now. 
Please, stop! Help! Thank you. Okay, let's go. Doggy, go. Get to the ship. Hopefully, they can beam you up. No, they keep attacking everyone. Come on. Starfleet, we are safe. Enemy targets on center. It's just us up here, Captain. No sign of Zabroba or Ticonderoga. That might not be that lucky. Anyone up here? No, I think. Ah, oh, god damn it, I think I'm fine. Okay, I think I need gates. Oh, bit stuck. Stay back! I'm warning you! Starfleet. Hey, You're Starfleet! You were the one who contacted us, yeah? Yep, we are. I'm glad you're here. This I'm sure you can guess we're uh, all a little on edge. If it wasn't for Fletcher visiting family here, we might have eaten a disruptor place by now. Not to be critical, but uh, where are the rest of you? Just it, the far point is in order, orbit. Oh, that, that's not good. We're in big trouble. These Klingons mean business. They've locked us out of the mine. Probably down there robbing us blind while we speak. No way we can beam anyone down to stop them. And they've probably killed all our security there by now. We do what we can to help, Chief. Glad to hear it. We're definitely going to need that help. There's some gear in those crates. Use it. Thanks, I've achieved the gear and we go from there. From here, okay. Where's it? Oh, there it is. Kit. Ooh, ooh. Tactical kit? Well, of course it would be tactical, but. Okay, so I've got a grenade now. Uh, move that over to. You now have I know you want to shut down that security field contact. on the mine, but I have an idea. Hear me out, okay? Uh, no, God, that's a bit annoying. Wait up, Tilly, just get this all gone. Up tray. Oh, to hell, okay. I know you want to shut down that security field on the mine, but I have an idea. Hear me out, okay? Make it fast. Okay. I think we can hook up the field emitter to the power core and modify it to broadcast a field over the entire facility. It's a short-term solution, but it could be what we need to keep the Klingons from getting any more of their troops down there. That just might work. I know, right? Well, first things first. I'm reading a device at the base of the mine entrance. If you can set up a jumper between it and the main command console, you'll be able to reroute the field's power flow. That'll open up the mine for you and set up things for my plan. Right. We reroute the power. Where is it? Let me just make sure the volume is okay. What do I? Why swimming? The volume? Oh, it's hundred percent okay. Is it this okay? Yeah. All right, we're in business. Almost. I'm gonna need someone to be my hands down there. Okay, Chief. Hey, nice work. Perfect timing too. I can hear the Klingons coming. We're about to have some really unpleasant company. We deal with the Klingons, can you reroute the power? Let me your communicator. If your engineer can walk me through it, I'll, I'll get the job done. Just keep them off me, okay? We will. Work fast, Chief. Right. Here they come. Let them have it! Okay. I need you to pull the actuator, invert it, and jam it back in. Trust me. Okay. It's in there. I think I got okay. it. Now manually cycle the power while forcing a short through the jumper. Come on, let's do this. 
Oh, and don't electrocute yourself. Uh, please. Medic! Oh, she's been hurt. Resuscitate. Healing, healing, healing. Come on. Not all you've got. Oh, cheers, mate. I owe you one. So we got Ozzy with us. Okay, Chief. Any time now. Oh, yeah, I forgot I got the grenade as well. Look, I'm doing this as fast as I can. I'm a miner, not an engineer. Oh, yes, yeah, true. Come on. Okay, got it. Good job, Chief. The field looks stable. The system is still clear, Captain. But those Klingon ships are getting closer. The faster you can finish up down there, the better. I can only just stand by. Chief, thanks for the help here. Least I could do. Thank you for putting your lives on the line here. We won't forget it. You didn't have to come help us, least of all by yourselves. But we're really happy you did. Let's go. Fletcher, you're with me. You got it. There's no way I'm sitting around and letting the Klingons take this place without a fight. Oh, and... Uh... Sorry about that whole phaser in the face thing earlier. Don't worry about it. Again. Don't worry about it. Or the Klingons. Klingons worry about me, not the other way around. Let's go. You Klingons aren't so tough when your target shoot back, huh? <laughs> Come on, let's go. Oh, that's, that was close. Okay. Oh, it's locked. I suppose we'll just have to knock. Yeah, unlocking. What? The bombing has stopped. Something's wrong. Secure the dilithium and prepare it for immediate transport. No! Not so fast, Klingon. You're done here. Heal, heal. Okay, okay. I've got this. I'm good. Okay. Where's the Klingon commander? Come on. Should we get any help? Captain, we're picking up some strange energy readings near your position. What's going on down there? Did Ev shoot a reactor or something? The mining laser is sounding a little odd. That could be a problem. It might be pulling more power than it should. Give me a sec, I need to run some numbers. This wouldn't be life threatening, would it? Hold on. Okay. I pulled the specs on that unit. It's an older model, but it gets the job done. It uses two oscillating beams instead of a fixed pulse. Uh oh. Don't like the sound of that. Well, I'm seeing three possible outcomes to this rig overloading. Over overload? Never mind. What are the best 
what outcomes. Assuming the rig can handle the increased output, the beams will just keep on oscillating until they hit the planetary core. Then, uh, boom. Right, boom. Not acceptable. So, outcome two. The rig does not handle the power spike and automatically vents the excess energy, um, violently. The blast hits the field we just put up, partially reflects, and hits the colony. Boom. Is there an outcome that doesn't involve the boom? Outcome three. You managed to trigger an emergency shutdown before the rig goes nuclear. Still a bad thing, nuclear. Not as bad as, say, a warp core breach, but still bad, so we should definitely try to avoid that. Let's go with our option. Okay, I found the emergency shutdown mechanism, and good news, it's really easy to operate. It's just a pair of simple switches on two separate consoles that have to be activated at the same time. Great. That's usually precise. I don't know, I guess it was built that way so a single disgruntled miner couldn't shut down the whole operation. Miners get disgruntled, you know? You can do this. Ask around, see if there are any locals. They might be able to assist. Fetch the local. We see what she can do. Stand by. So... Is that it for me? Okay. Ooh, wow, that was really close. Good job, Captain. The security field is still standing, the mine secure, and you didn't blow up. And that's good. But the Klingons are still on their way. We could use your help up here when you're ready to beam up. Okay, just beam up. Captain, the colony's security field is holding strong. There's still a lot of Klingon ships heading our way, though. We need to leave, and soon. But... But there's a problem. Civilian ships travel through here frequently. We need to warn them about the Klingons, or they could warp into the middle of a war zone. Tilly, can we use local satellites to send an automatic warning? Automated warning. Absolutely. We could even remotely program the signal on a satellite as we leave the system. Which we should. Soon. <laughs> The message won't get very far, but anyone who enters the system will get the signal and be able to turn around before it's too late. Let's do it. I'm going to slay a course for the nearest satellite. Configure satellite. We've definitely got their attention, Captain. Here they come! Come on. Come on. Getting a real Kobayashi Maru feeling down here, Captain. Just being That's honest. That's true. Alright, it's good. You will die as warriors. Stop. Come on. Sorry, we're late. You have? Yes, that's good. How big is that strap? We got every thousand. Oh, only. Yeah, that's good. Two is our Starfleet. You have lost. Oh great. They won't take us without a fight, Captain. Oh great. You started the party without us? I'm disappointed. Come on. As they say on Earth. Cavalry has arrived. <laughs> All ships, open fire. Come on. There's a mouse. There is. Come on. Come on. 
come on. Come on. I'm just in the Sabaro that comes out of the ship. I'm just in the uh, uh, Sovereign for a moment. Don't oh, worry. And there's the Glen. We stood our ground at the Arucanus arm until the situation became untenable. After we disengaged, we were able to reach Starfleet and call for backup. Others will be arriving as soon as they can. We can't afford to lose this system to the Klingons. Thanks for coming, Captain. Don't mention it. You'd do the same were our situations reversed. I believe Captain Schaefer would be proud of you and your crew, Captain. Your efforts to defend the Federation are commendable, and my report will indicate this. Thank you, sir. Apart from your valor in combat, I'm particularly impressed by your work with the local satellites. Turning them into distant warning beacons was quite clever. Those signals will save a lot of lives. Corvan 2 is still in danger, sir. Indeed. I'm sure Starfleet Command has detailed plans for defending Corvan. For now, however, your work here is done. You're to report to the Soul System with the civilians you've rescued. Once you arrive, report to Admiral Kensington for debriefing. Understood, sir. What about Fletcher? Fletcher would make a fine addition to your senior staff. I'll make a note of it in my report to Starfleet Command. You've done well under extraordinary circumstances. Anton's ship is in good hands. Keep up the good work. Shran out. Saskia, I think this might be actually with the voice set up for Shran because it feels like it, it does. So we've got Colonel Fetcher, but sometimes I feel like what happened with the other crew, the cadets, so they get reassigned or what? Because it'd be cool to see them as well. Okay, let's continue. Congratulations, done all we can, Captain. Let's get to safety while we still can. Okay, let's warp the soul. After everything we went through out there, going back to Professor Shermer's advanced physics class doesn't seem as scary now. I mean, what's string theory compared to dodging Klingon disruptor blasts or trying to keep a warp core stable? Speaking of scary, think Admiral Kensington's gonna go easy on you? The ship did kind of get beat up. A little. Uh, okay, a lot. I'm sure he'll be fine. Okay, let's go. The Admiral's office is this way. Ooh. Lovely characters. Admiral? Thanks for coming. You've been through a lot. Starfleet Command appreciates your efforts, especially at the Corvin system. I do as well. Thank you, Admiral. I've read the official reports, but I'd like to hear your take on it all, in your own words. Explain what happened, okay. Hmm, this Ja'ula has become quite a thorn in our side. You're fortunate, very few have survived combat with her. Our agents are on the hunt for Ja'ula as we speak. Bringing in the sister of Takuvma will be quite a blow to cling on morale. Rest assured, you're not the only one who wants her to pay for her crimes. Ah, oh, okay, sister. Okay, then. I don't think we've seen the last of her, Admiral. Neither do I, unfortunately. Well then, based on what I'm seeing here, you're exactly the kind of officer Starfleet needs now. I know your ship might not be the Enterprise, but you've proven yourself capable of sitting in her centre chair. The job's yours if you want it. Admiral? Yes, under normal circumstances, it would take years of work to get your own command. But these aren't normal circumstances. The war isn't going well for us. We don't have the luxury of waiting years before putting good officers on the line. We need them out there right now. We need you. Me? Yes, Corvin would have been a disaster if it weren't for you and your crew. Starfleet wants to recognize that. Therefore, as of now, I'm making your promotion and command official. I see the same things in you that Schaefer did. Honor his name and make us all proud. Thank you, Admiral. We won't let you down. I wouldn't recommend it. I have it on good authority. I'm quite a terror when crossed. On to more mundane duties, hmm? You'll need to check in with the tailor and update your uniform in a manner appropriate to your new rank. After that, acquire a shuttle for your ship. 
When you're finished, return to me for new orders. Yes, Admiral. Well, you don't look unhappy. And that's good, right? Yeah, so just go and get that. Okay. Okay, you follow me, Tilly? Yes, I think she is. Okay, so we gotta go to get Taylor. This map. Let's go through the field, kite through. So far, looks good. You see what my lieutenant thing? Fleet missions, patrol missions. Okay. Ground. Okay. This is what I'll be getting is target to get opposite. It's okay. Okay, that person's gone. This way. This way. Okay, so customize time. Okay. The shipyard officer is this way. Do it afterwards. Nice. It off, really suits you. off the camera. We didn't change anything though, but okay. Okay. Quiet ships. Welcome, Andrew Kennison said you would come by to request the show. While you're here, feel free to look at other ships. Very well. Okay, thank you. Other ships. Nope. Okay. Looks can't. like you're all set. Hey, don't keep the Admiral waiting. And then we have to talk to the Admiral again. Sound effects, okay. You don't want to change the uniform, but I could do that off camera. Did I past? No, I don't think so. Oh. Okay, so it's just add more. Congratulations on your promotion. I will let you know when I have a new task for you. Thank you. I have a mission for you. Do that next time. Yeah, Admiral Kensington must have been a walk in the park for you. I guess this is goodbye, at least for now. You've got a ship and a crew to take care of, and I, well, I still have to graduate. Hey, do you think they'll use your ship for the cadet cruise next year? If they do, put in a good word for me. Okay, I accidentally ended it and then realized this came up, so I'm going to add this in. See what I can do. Ah, oh, great. <laughs> hey, I liked being your chief engineer out there. It, uh... It would be an honor to do that again, Captain. Oh man, this is hard. Uh, stay safe, okay? This war won't last forever. And I hope we're both doing what Starfleet does best soon. Exploring the galaxy, strange new worlds, all that. Same here, take care of yourself, Sylvia. And uh, Sylvia's gone, okay. Well, hopefully that's the end. Talk to you guys later. See ya.